Hey, how we doing? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play, and with the whole Microsoft vs. PlayStation vs. FTC, all for the battle to see who controls Activision Blizzard, the whole thing's in full swing at the moment, and now they're just kind of throwing all types of crap at each other, and this is the latest one of note, and I actually kind of agree with Xbox on this one. So Xbox hits back at the UK claims that COD exclusivity could hurt Sony's ability to compete. So the amount of players willing to switch from Xbox to COD is quote, too small according to Microsoft. And I do agree, just based off that title alone. I think when it comes to consoles and people choose which consoles they want, a lot of the times it's either brand loyalty, you know, I had a PlayStation 1, I had a PlayStation 2, so I got the PlayStation 3, then I got the PlayStation 4, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of it comes down to exclusivities, such as God of War. God of War sold like hotcakes, and that was a PlayStation exclusive. I think people that are hardcore God of War fans aren't going to all of a sudden swap their PlayStation to get a Xbox so they can get Call of Duty when Call of Duty is available on everything. In fact, last month, Call of Duty has partnered with Nintendo to help bring uh, Call of Duty and other Microsoft, potentially, games over to the Nintendo. And Microsoft has said, hey, we plan to keep this thing multi-platform. And I think that's the smart move because you will lose out on all those microtransaction sales. So just based off that alone, I completely agree with Xbox on that. Unless, of course, Sony is lying about the types of sales that they're pulling on their exclusive games, such as God of War and Horizon and Last of Us. So Microsoft has reportedly told the UK's antitrust regulator that it has significantly overcounted the potential impact of Call of Duty's potential exclusivity to Xbox platforms. And again, it's potential exclusivity, even though they won't do it. So Rima Ali, who is the corporate VP of Microsoft's competition law group, told Axios that the Xbox firm commissioned a YouGov survey in January finding that just 3% of all PlayStation players would switch to the Xbox should it the series become exclusive to the platform following the completion of the Activision Blizzard deal. Honestly, I think it would be lower than that, but okay. So based on this, they've claimed that Call of Duty was, quote, too small to hurt Sony's ability to compete and was too small to make any withholding strategy profitable for Xbox. She also reiterated Microsoft's repeated line, as we have said all along, it makes zero business sense to take Call of Duty off of PlayStation. And I completely agree with that. Or you think of the battle passes, the store bundles, you know, whatever it may be, all that crap you can no longer sell if you make this thing exclusive. And that's where most of the money comes from. So as noted, the study conducted on behalf of CMA uh, by DGS Research in December of 2022 claimed that around 15% of avid Call of Duty PlayStation players so players playing at least 10 hours or spending at least $100 in the series in the past year would switch to Xbox. So Microsoft's own findings suggested lower than 10% figure when surveying if Call of Duty players who considered the franchise as one of their two favorites would switch consoles for exclusivity reasons. It's just not going to happen, not in this day and age. I can see maybe a few years ago the numbers would be a little bit higher when it took longer for DLC to come to certain platforms. And that's not forget... Currently, as it stands, PlayStation actually gets more like double XP weekends for Call of Duty than any other platform. So the CMA's final report ruling on the Activision Blizzard deal is due by April 26, one day after the new EU deadline. The EU's decision was expected 10 days earlier. However, the EU competition regulator pushed the deadline for the decision back last week. The move came a day after the EU antitrust boss told Bloomberg that global regulators must not race to be the first to conclude mega deals. So last month, Microsoft announced that it signed a binding 10-year legal agreement to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo platforms should the merger be approved. And then to me, that just says that Nintendo is one, maybe working on a, a successor to the Switch, and two, they're pretty confident that Microsoft will get this deal. And I've said the whole time that I think Microsoft will end up with Activision Blizzard. It's just going to be a massive headache, and I still stand by that. But look, I, I'm not picking a side here. I don't own an Xbox, but I think Xbox is totally right against Sony in this one. The amount of players willing to switch from PlayStation to Xbox just for Call of Duty is really not that high. But you tell me how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.